Our next section, 9.3, talks about similarity in right triangles. So if I take a right triangle, any right triangle, I make this a right triangle. And I drop an altitude to that right triangle. I'm going to label some points here. I end up with three different triangles. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw all three of those triangles in the same orientation. I'm going to draw this super big right triangle. That would be A, B, C. In my case, I'm going to now draw the medium triangle, which is going to be A, D, B. I'm going to draw the little triangle, B, D, C. All three of those triangles are similar. Okay. So what that is telling me is that sides are proportional. So that is what that first theorem, the right triangle similarity theorem, is telling you is, hey, if they're similar, then those side lengths are proportional. Okay? Um, so let's look at the problem, one of the problems they have. They have um, a right triangle. Where I have 5.5 meters, 3.1 meters, and 6.3 meters. What they're asking us is for the height. Okay. Well, the height is the, I could do it two different ways. The height is this piece right here, the base of the big triangle, or it is the height of the small triangle. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these triangles down here, and I'm going to just label the side pieces that I know. Well, AB is 5.5. Do I have another AB? Yep, I have an AB, 5.5. Um, BC is 3.1. BC is 3.1. AC is 6.3. Um, that's the only AC I have. I want to know what the height is. Well, the height in my case is BD, okay? So I can use either one of these two triangles to set up my proportion to solve it. Um, I'm going to use the first one and the second one. I know that bottom over bottom, H over 3.1, is equal to right over right, 5.5 over 6.3. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 3.1 and use my calculator. Get 5.5 times 3.1 divided by 6.3. I get approximately 2.71 meters. So that is how I would use it. So um, 
redraw triangles in the same orientation and set up proportionality statement using pieces you know and pieces you don't know. That's an easy way to find the altitude of that triangle. Okay. Um, there's a couple other theorems that come into play before we work with the IXL that come up with some shortcuts for us. And I hopefully you did write them out in your postulates and theorems book already, but I'm going to show you how I think about those problems. So um, first one is the geometric mean altitude theorem. And then the second one is going to be the geometric mean leg theorem. Okay. The geometric mean altitude, um, it said in a right triangle, the altitude from a right angle to the hypotenuse divides it into two segments. The length of the altitude is the geometric means of the lengths of the two segments. So what it's telling me is the altitude times the altitude is equal to um, this leg piece times this leg piece. And that's the way I think about it. So altitude times the altitude is equal to segment times the segment. Okay. The other one says is that the part, the leg of the right triangle times itself is equal to the piece it touches times the whole opposite side. Okay, that's the way I do the setup. Um, the If I wanna do the other leg, The leg of the big right triangle is equal to the segment it touches times the whole length. Okay, you guys already have the um, labeled triangles in your postulates and theorems book, but visually, that's the way I think about it. Okay, um, so let's just knock into some examples um, just so you can see these. Similarity in altitudes and right triangles. I am going to add a my little piece of paper here. Because if SU is 28 and UV is 6, what is TU? That is this right-hand problem. So what I'm going to draw it out really quick. The whole length is SU, which is 28. The little length is 6. And they want to know what TU is. So I'm going to write um, TU squared equals 28 times 6. TU times TU is equal to SU times UV. So 28 times 6 is 168. This one says decimal rounded. So that's a calculator question. So second square root of 168 um, is 12.96. KL is this leg, LM is this leg, they wanna know the whole length. That's again, this right-hand problem. So I know that KL times KL is equal to LM times JL. 144 divided by seven is 20.57. Um, WY is the whole bottom. 
xy is the right, they want to know yz. Okay. So I know that um, wy times yz is equal to xy times xy. So wy times yz. So 11 yz is equal to, well, that's 21. yz is equal to 11 squared. The yz is 121 over 21. That's a calculator. I get 5.76. EH, little segment here. GH, little segment here. They want to know FH. So in this case, I know, papers, I know that FH is FH is equal to EH times GH. Well, FH squared is equal to 9 times 15. Is 135. So FH is the square root of 135. Again, they want a decimal. So second square root 135. And I get 11.62. Except I typed in 92. Yes, I did have the correct answer. I typed it in wrong. Um, KM. L M M N. So I know that L M squared is equal to N M times K M. So I have 10 squared is equal to no, oh, yep, 14 K M. I'm going to take 100 over 14. 7.14. 7.14. Yep, I typed in the right thing. Now let's hopefully get back to one of these. Yep, so we're back to one of them that I typed in the wrong, typed it in wrong. So they want to know what KM. So I know that KM squared is equal to JM times LM. Um, JM is 30 and 8. So KM squared is equal to 240. So KM is approximately square root of 240. Um, 15.49. Typed it incorrectly. Okay, TVUVSV. TVUVSV. So um, this is the altitude theorem. So I know that TV squared is equal to UV times SV. I am trying to find SV. So I know that 16 squared is equal to 21 SV. So 256 over 21. Sixteen squared, which is in fact two fifty six divided by twenty one, twelve point one nine. What I'm going to type in, and even though I got one wrong, um, took seven qu questions to get me to seventy, so you could have probably got there in five. So there you go.